hello welcome to azutech channel subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for the more updates hi friends today we are going to show you how we can make a sci-fi animations using blender 2.8 just like in the hollywood movie software and by pressing a select all and then press x to delete all the things and then and then pressing by shift plus a get a new cube then by pressing z and then press z and go to the wireframe mode and then go to the modifiers and click on the solidify and then go to the modifier settings and just decrease the thickness by decreasing the thickness you get a new cube and then press copy to the whole modifier settings and below side thickness should be almost double from the previous cube and then check your view and then again copy the modifier settings and increase the thickness after that check your view it looks pretty cool again go to the modifiers and click on the wireframe mode by pressing z you cannot see the solid cube you will see only wireframes Check your whole animation from the every angle and then go to the material settings and choose the surface as a mission. Select the color and increase the strength of a mission. And then go to the environment setting and choose the color all the way black. And then go to the render view by pressing Z. Go to the render view and you can see the color is showing now. But now it doesn't look like that as we see in the animation. For making it that, go to your EV settings. Make it on your broom. From the EV setting, you can also choose the blooming color. Choose the color as your requirement. I have choose the green color because I made it in green. You can choose any color. it's time to animate it for that setting just go to your settings where you applied the modifiers go to the first modifiers and press on the thickness press right click and insert keyframes time always keep it mind your timeline pointer should be on zero frame or you can say one On the first frame it was 0.5 thickness and then 
I go to 75th frames and increase the thickness from 0.5 to 1 and then again press the right click and insert keyframe and then go to the end of your animation as like I have choose 150 frames then I go to 151 frame and choose the thickness press right click and insert keyframe for, for better grouping of your animation always choose one or two frames more than your animation and like I uh, my whole animation was up to 150 frames but I've chosen 151 frames for the end of loop for making it like that press Z go to the wireframe mode shift plus A and add one more cube and scale it up up to the end of previous cubes and then click on the wireframe mode look here view from the every angle it should not be more width between the both cubes and, and then go to the material settings choose the surface as principal BFS go to the roughness roughness should be zero and then go to the transmission transmission should be all the way up is a one and then click on the settings and screen space reflection should be on and then press Z and go to the render view but in the render view you cannot able to see anything to see everything click on EV setting check the box of ambient resolution make it on and then go to the spins screen space refractions and check the box of motion blur make it on and now by pressing Z go to the rendered view you can see the refraction colors from the whole box It's time to another animation. To the right top corner scene collections and hit the cube as shift and hit the another cube. And then after coming to the working area, press Ctrl plus P and hit the object. Now inner cubes are attached to the outer cube. If outer cube will animate to the any side, then inner cubes working along with it. By hitting the point if it's converted into the scare, then it means the keyframe is inserted. Before inserting keyframes, your timeline pointer should be on first frame. And then, then go to the 151th frame, rotation of X axis, make it 360 degree and insert the keyframe. Just same like that do it on y axis as also or on the first frame it should be 0 and on the 151th frame it should be 360 degree and insert the keyframe and check the animation If you want some changes in the color blooms you can check you can set in the EV settings go to the EV settings and make as per your requirements and then go to the render settings choose the folder where it's showing TMP from here you can choose the folder where you want the output
and from the file format you just choose the ff mpeg video and for the rendering for the final step you have to add the camera for viewing just add the camera and adjust it on the object view as you want from the from which angle you want you can set the camera location on that only check from the every angle when you look when you check all things then the main menu uh, just near about the file and edit when you help go to the render and click on the render animation thanks for watching guys